Hello, this is Julian Wilson. In our next tutorial, we're going to help you to try to avoid the common mistakes made by most beginners. Stacking, leaving and running. When we talk about stacking, we mean putting too many of your men on a single point, creating inflexibility in your position, reducing your number of good rolls. Running, escaping all contact when there's very little chance of winning the game and abandoning, moving men from those key anchor points, the bar and the five points, before it's time to do so. I've created two positions which will help you to understand and hopefully remember and recognize these mistakes yourself. Let's look at the board. In the position we're looking at, Red has rolled a 2-1. Hitting is clearly important to establish the five point. The second move, the two, is most commonly misplayed. It's easy to think safety is the right answer by taking the 13 point onto the bar point. But in this situation, it's much more important that it has the flexibility in this position to cover this block. So the two should be played here. Superficially, this looks more risky. In reality, this is more likely to provide a stronger position more quickly for red. Like chess, the opening part of backgammon is governed by some well understood and agreed priorities. In chess, you focus on the centre board. With backgammon, you focus on key points. Those key points are your five points, your bar points, your opponent's five points, and his or her bar points. Let's show you how key opening roles are played to achieve those objectives. The 6-1 is one of the better opening roles. No experts would disagree on how to play this. Take a man from your 13 point and cover it with a spare checker on the end. That 7 point block prevents Red from escaping with 60. The 3-1 is arguably the best opening roll in backgammon. Your 5 point not only prevents a significant block to Red's 4s, it also creates that valuable extra point in your home board. Of course you don't always get the, uh, the nuts as the poker players would call it. 4-2 and 5-3 are great opening rolls, establishing a second point in your home board. And the 6-5, taking a man from 24 to 18 and then to 13, escape the man to the relative safety of your midpoint. Running behind is probably the single most important mistake to avoid. I've created a position here to help you recognize these situations and avoid them in your play. In the example we're looking at, Red has rolled a 6-5 and he has the option to escape and free the counter on the 24 point by moving it all the way to the midpoint. It looks safe, sure, but closer inspection will reveal that that play means Red has effectively lost the game. He would have to be incredibly lucky and roll significantly more numbers on the die than his opponent if he was to win from that position. How could he win? Staying behind gives Red the chance of hitting one of black stones if he has to leave a bluff. The rolls of 6-2, 6-3 and 6-5 all mean black will leave an open stone which Red can hit and win the game. That's Red's only chance of winning from this position. A simple acronym that may help you to remember the priorities for the opening play is BAR. Block, anchor, run. Block, create points in your home board that prevent your opponent escaping. Anchor, move your men to a point higher in your opponent's home board. Or run, taking your men all the way to the midpoint, preparing for the end game, the race.